Hi everyone, I'm Nitika Chopra here for another video for you and I'm so excited. I have a special guest with me today, Kathleen Graham. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course, and Kathleen has a company, Wild Woman in Love. And if you were a part of our summer self-love celebration in June, you might have met her or seen her speak there. And if you weren't, now is your chance. So people in the room really loved what Kathleen had to say that night. I wanted to make sure that no matter where you are, you get to hear what she's got to tell you. So basically, you work with women all over the world, and you work especially with people who are more type A, really successful, really have their stuff together. Yeah. Does this sound like anyone who might be watching? Um, you sounds know, like us. Sounds like us, <laughs> exactly. People who are just like, you know, really kind of going after life, yeah. not sitting back on the sidelines for sure. And you work with those women on finding love, keeping love, you know, all everything that has to do with love, yeah. Kathleen talks to women about it and helps them through it. So today, you're working with us on a specific thing. Can you tell I us what am. you're going to be sharing with us today? I am. Yeah. So what I find is that we smart, successful, driven women yeah. who have a lot we want to accomplish, what I find is that there's often a challenge in our love life. So I want to really help your audience who's yeah. having that struggle, you know, really deconstruct that mm -hmm. and be able to have a solution because we all want love. Yeah. We all want to find the one. We all want to feel cherished, mm -hmm. you know, and be really claimed by our guy. Yeah. So what I noticed happens, and I don't know if you want me to go right into this. Oh yeah, just this let's go like into some, it. We're ready, right? So there's some blind yeah. spots that okay. I want to help make women aware of. And sure. there's these three mistakes that women make that repel love. Ooh, okay. All right, you okay. guys are be taking notes. Go ahead. So it sounds okay. a little harsh, but yeah. the reality is, is that it's an unconscious thing that we're doing. Got so it. the first thing that happens is thinking that there's something wrong with you. Okay. So being like a high achiever, type A, mm -hmm. you know, we tend to be really hard on ourselves. Yes. And there's often the small part of us that wonders secretly if there's something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. why haven't I found love yet? Right. Like, is there something in me that's broken? Yeah. Is there something I'm doing wrong? And as a driven, high achiever, you know, type <laughs> woman, it's like, oh, well, let me turn the lens inside yes. and start working on myself. Totally. Right? Because yeah. there must be something wrong and, you know, I can get out of my $40,000 credit card debt, I can lose 10 pounds, or I could solve my daddy issues, <laughs> and I could buy an apartment before I'm ready right. for the one, right? So, <laughs> is this familiar? That's actually, like, really familiar, yes. Yeah, 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 me too, yeah. <laughs> me too. I'm, I was the one with the $40,000 credit card debt, by the way. And it's okay, we had to pull for life experience. Yeah. yeah, so the problem with thinking this is that it puts you in a cycle where you're constantly repelling high-quality men. Mm because you're running an energy of not being good enough all the time, you know, and thinking that there's something wrong with you. So I want to give you a tip to okay. help you flip this because, yeah. you know, once you know the problem, great, but what the heck do we do about it, right? We always want a solution. So a wild woman tip, and this is something that we go into depth in my program, is mm -hmm. helping women really tap into what I call fierce self-love, which I know Yes, we are all about fierce self-love here. Yes. And it is all about self-love <laughs> and the celebration we talked yeah. about it this summer. One thing I talk about is being gentle with yourself mm -hmm. and being able to just relax yeah. that pressure to be perfect all the time and in that relaxing you actually activate your feminine energy mm -hmm. and your feminine energy is what attracts the masculine man that you really want because let's face it if you're a strong woman you need a strong man right you need a man who you know has got your back who yeah. you can trust who's going to be there for you so being able to be gentle with yourself say no yeah. more often you know don't feel obligated to be who you think you're supposed to be in the world and take it easy, that allows you to relax, and that sets the mechanism in motion mm -hmm. to really open yourself up to that guy that you actually want yeah. and turn the repeller off. Okay, so the first tip is really like to basically, well, the tip is really to relax. It to, absolutely is. To stop is. being a perfectionist, yeah. to turn down the voice of over-criticizing and really harping on yourself and trying to figure out everything that's wrong with you so you can fix it, so you can get the man. 
all that stuff. And yeah. the tip is really to start to be more gentle with yourself, be more accepting and Absolutely. loving with yourself. That's when, great. It's exactly what you teach your audience mm -hmm. too, you know, because we, like you know, when you're practicing self-love, you're a magnet for love. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. we've heard this one before, but it can be really tough oh, to no, practice. Oh, no, totally. So. Yeah, and sometimes you don't even realize that you're being so hard on yourself until you hear someone yeah. talk about it. Okay, so great. So what's the second tip? So the second mistake that okay. women make to repel okay. love is always being in control. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me explain. So yeah. what I mean by this is, you know, when you're a strong, independent woman, you're strong and independent. You're used to making decisions, paying your bills, you know, what you like, how you like it, what flavor, what temperature. We know what we like. Yeah. Right? So sometimes it's just too much. Yeah. And the problem is when you're wearing this controlling energy, which I also call the I've got this syndrome. Mm -hmm. You have this vibe of, I know who I am, I know where I'm going, and it actually puts a wall up between you and men. Mm -hmm. and it actually pushes away the intimacy that you really require. Right. So it's a weird paradox right. where it's like you're single and you're driven and you want to take care of yourself and you need to make decisions. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance running your life and being available sure. and being receptive, well, how right? how do you balance it? It's very interesting, yes. right? So this is one of my playful tips and what we talk about in the course is taming your inner control freak okay so girls don't cringe i know i was in denial for a really long time that i was controlling my mm -hmm. sister used to always tease me and i would be offended i'd mm -hmm. be like screw you like i'm yeah. not controlling and then i got to a point where i was like I'm, oh, controlling. Well, I'm actually really controlling yeah so if you're getting offended right now you're probably right on the right track it is very um, humbling no. Yeah. You know, I had to really eat my humble pie and be like, wow, my sister's actually spot on. There might be something to this and what I am also single for 10 years. Right. So maybe I should look at this. <laughs> right. So what we do is we talk about how to get in touch and identify your inner control freak first, because mm -hmm. most likely she's unconsciously driving the bus. OK. You know, and uh, we have to derail her. OK. So one thing that we talk about is the fastest way to diffuse your control freak mm -hmm. is through playfulness. OK. Because the control freak tends to want things to be a certain way yes. and have things, you know, very orchestrated, very planned. Yeah. And according to a list, you know, the guy has to meet all these standards. So playfulness is what you really want to incorporate into your life to be able okay. to relax that part of yourself. Mm -hmm. The relaxing is key in okay. all my teachings. In all the, the relaxing, things, relaxing. Is really important. Okay. That opens your feminine energy. Mm -hmm. So the playfulness is something you can start to practice anyway, like little flirting, teasing with your friends. Yeah. It doesn't have to be with guys if you're too shy. Yeah. You know, but it can be just in line with someone about like you know, their dress or their yeah. hair or like, oh, you know, it can yeah. be really simple. Like I'll give my friends a little um, stuffed animal. Have you ever seen those beanie boos with the big eyes? <laughs> yes. And I'll give all, you know, the women in my program, I give them all an animal and they have to name it and carry it around with themselves and we'll have them at lunch. Like just being playful and silly. Yeah. It diffuses that yeah. whole energy. I have noticed that actually as you get older, you know, some people, I mean, I'm more serious just as like, that's just my temperament. I'm just a little bit more serious and I have friends who are really silly and it's been a practice for me to try to hang out with my friends who are really silly. Yes. A little, like, as a conscious effort to be like, okay, I can steer more in the serious side and I need to kind of bring that out. So yeah. I think that's great. And it's it so does, important. It does really help with the, you know, being more free and feeling more relaxed and not being so controlled. Yes. So I love that tip. So what's your yes. third tip? I'm so, so excited to hear it. The third thing that women do invisibly that they're not aware of that repels love is they wonder if there's a guy out there who can actually really match them and love them, and they're considering lowering their standard. Right, so, so they're like not sure that they're ever gonna find the person yes. that they want. Okay, They're I not understand. sure there's a guy out there who's on their level, mm -hmm. who has the same values, the same goals, you mm -hmm. know, because being this type of woman in the world, like you know who you are, what you want, you've got vision, you're into personal growth, developing yeah. yourself. Is there a guy out there who can actually walk with me on this path? Right. So a lot of women are frustrated from attracting the wrong guys mm -hmm. and wondering like, wow, am I just too harsh? Mm -hmm. You know, do I need to lower my standard? So the problem with thinking like this is that you do start to attract the wrong guys. And what happens is you start to bend and be who you think you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. let's say you do meet a powerful man. So you're like, I'm not going to be that girl who's mm -hmm. pushy or emotional yeah. or demanding. So you start being who you think they want you to be. Mm -hmm. And you're suppressing who you really are. But the problem with that is that 
a powerful man who's really wants to love and cherish you, he wants you to be authentic. Mm -hmm. And he can tell when you're not being authentic. So true. And he wants to feel you. Yeah. Men rely on feeling the women's heart. Like, mm -hmm. it's what brings them alive and gives them purpose in the world. So yeah. when you're turning that down and not expressing yourself, it repels the love that you actually want. Totally. Okay, so, so what do we do about that? Yeah, it's a tough <laughs> paradox because it's like... Yeah. Being who you really are is very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So what we talk about in my course is expressing your whole wild self. Okay. Not just who you think you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And it's about like letting your vulnerabilities be seen. Letting mm -hmm. your tenderness. Like being sad if you're sad. Like that's the range of being a woman. Totally. And a masculine man, like that's what he wants. Yeah. You know, to feel you and to be able to take care of you. Yeah. You know, and provide for you. So... Um, that's amazing. Actually, you know, I've been noticing, I've been kind of taking in, an inventory of some of the friends that I have that are just entering relationships. And I have this one friend out in California and she was recently telling me about her new relationship with this guy. He's so great. And I think that they're like really meant to be together, to be honest with you. Hmm. And she cries with him all the time. Yeah. Like all the time. <laughs> and honestly, I've been friends with her for a while. I haven't really ever seen or even heard about her crying. Like it's not, she's not like a big crier. Um, but she just like lets it out with him. And I'm always kind of like, really? And he just steps up to the plate. He shows up. He takes care of her. He really, I mean, I think he, as you said, he wants to see her full self. So yes. that is a great reminder and something that I'm sure it feels a little relieving, honestly, to yeah. hear that and, and feel that we can really be our full self. It's scary, you yeah. know? And one thing I want to offer as another tip towards that mm -hmm. is what I call embody your queen, mm -hmm. you know? So when it comes up and it's challenging of like, do I say this? Do I act like this? It's a new guy. I'm getting to know someone. Your queen knows who she is, what she desires, what her standards are of love. She knows what her boundaries are. She has right. no problem speaking that truth. Right. Just unapologetically and um, without arrogance. Mm -hmm. She just knows that yeah. wholeheartedly. So when you can tap into that queen energy, what would my queen do? Yeah. You know, then it's really clear and you have the courage to wait for the standard of love that your soul requires too, because your queen will not settle. Yes, well I think that is a powerful place to wrap up this video, is yeah. wait for the standard of love that your soul requires. I think that is what yeah. all of us want, to be honest with you, and hopefully now you can believe even just a little bit more that you're worthy of it, and that it's going to happen, and that it's out there, and that some of these tips that Kathleen gave you are really gonna help get you there even faster. So thank you so much for being yeah, here with us today. Absolutely. It was so great to chat with you. And we'll be sure to link to Kathleen, everything she has going on below the video. And I also want to make sure that you all ask us your questions. More than me, ask Kathleen your questions. <laughs> she will be sure to answer your love questions and yeah. anything that you've got going on. If you've got some blocks happening, you're not sure, anything that feels complicating, anything at all. Bring it this way. Kathleen yeah. will be watching comments on the video yeah. as soon as we post it. And she'll be there to help and guide and you. And I do have a free gift for yeah. the audience. Okay, let's do it. Yes, so absolutely. If you you guys go to this website www.wildwomaninlove forward slash nitica we all know how to spell nitica's name yes but it'll be linked below <laughs> i'll make sure to link it below and i have an ebook there for you to Amazing. give you some more tips about what i talked about there's just oh, some more good. stories some things you can apply so go and get that free gift now and on the other side, if you're done reading that, the next step would be to have a love breakthrough session with me. Oh, cool. So if there's some members of your audience who are really feeling their heartstrings yeah. pulled, you have to apply for it. I want to make sure we're a right fit to talk. Sure. Um, but that would be the next step after that point. So definitely okay. get your free gift. And if you're called, I'm here to help you. Because like you said, everyone totally deserves, it's mm -hmm. their birthright, to have extraordinary love. Yeah. To not settle for and we less. we want you so. to have it. You will have so, it. You yeah. just have to have the courage to wait. Love that. Yeah. Well, you're going to have lots of goodies to get after this video. I'm going to link to everything below. Make sure to leave us your comments in the comment section below this video as well. Any questions that you might have. If you like this video, please like it. Share it with your friends. Send it to a friend who might need a little extra love in her life. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to love yourself first. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Okay.